How's it going, my friends? Uh, so in this video, I want to make a hand holding a steak hammer, punch hammer, like the title says. And uh, there's gonna be some sculpting, woodworking, metalworking, and maybe some you know, not maybe, definitely some engraving. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this one. Alright, so I got a piece of lime wood or base wood, I suppose, and uh, it's a pretty good wood for carving. It's quite soft, but uh, but it's also pretty dense, so it maintains the shape pretty well. And uh, yeah, and I've used mostly flat chisels, which is not ideal, and I would definitely invest in some uh, gouges or carving chisels in the future. But uh, yeah, they go for like 20 to 30 dollars a piece, so I definitely want to be sure what I'm getting and uh, which tools I really need and so on. So I started figuring out uh, how to make the recess for the stake itself. So I kind of drilled the hole through the fingers area of the hand and chiseled out a square slot, basically, um, where the stake will go through. And this was quite difficult since it's like five centimeters long, which is around two inches. And, um, and yeah, so it was very narrow and quite long. So it took a bit of time, but I got there in the end. So I was going for a kind of a renaissance stylized uh, sleeve for the hand and uh, I've decided to do some lace work uh, or like look-alike lace I guess um, which was quite challenging since um, uh, this wood is not the best for these kind of details but it worked out just fine. Now uh, all is left is to kind of finish it and since this wood really absorbs absolutely everything uh, I had to use three heavy layers of lacquer to really seal it in. Now time for the grip itself. I decided to go for this kind of uh, rapier looking type handle where it's fluted or spiralish and I used this uh, paduk, beautiful paduk wood uh, which is quite different than the lime wood. It's uh, much harder, but it takes the finish quite amazingly. And here you see I'm uh, just marking the spirals of the grip itself and filing them in. Now I wasn't very happy with how this grip turned out. Uh, the angles of the, the ridges or the flutes were a little bit too close together or too angled, so they didn't really look like spirals at all. So I decided to scrap it and uh, start all over again. 
Okay, so this is the second piece. Uh, it's a bit more squarish than uh, than the previous one. And yeah, and I made the flutes more angled, uh, less angled, I guess. <laughs> uh, so it gave a little more breathe room uh, and it looked a lot more spiralish and uh, pretty and I was quite happy with that. So I chose a shellac finish for this one since the wood is a lot denser and uh, oilier. And uh, yeah, I just like the shellac better. It gives a nicer, thinner coat of, of finish and it looks a lot better. Now I'm adding some uh, brass wire inlays just to give it a, a real renaissance look to it. Now I've decided to make some uh, brass washers or collars uh, just to get a nicer contrast or transition between the grip and the rest of the handle and they look kind of weird but that's because they're the off cuts of the of the grip itself so they they have to look kind of strange i suppose So here I'm working on a tiny sculpted hand that will go on the pommel of the handle on the other side and I thought it would be kind of funny to make another hand point in the other direction uh, to kind of, I don't know, make a relationship with the big hand in the front. Now moving on to the pommel of the hammer. not. Not that hammers really have pommels or need one, but I, I don't know, it just looks good on the, on the handle itself, so I decided to make one out of wood. Uh, it doesn't counterbalance anything, but uh, it just fits uh, the aesthetics. Okay, so at this point I began to add more and more parts to the handle, just, I don't know, to get a, a good looking structure to the whole thing. Uh, so I added the spacers and maybe guards, you can call them. And of course I also used the brass wire inlay uh, just to, just to kind of get a coherent look between all the pieces. Okay, so now uh, moving on to the business part of the hammer uh, I started working on the stake itself which is a brass bar a 12 millimeter square and um, or a half an inch and now I'm kind of faking uh, a mushrooming effect of the stake just to make it look apart And this is the other end where uh, the different types of punches can be inserted.
And so for the punches themselves, I've used the uh, spring steel, uh, five millimeter bars uh, spring steel, and I'm just uh, filing them to shape. Now, of course, the punches need hardening, so I quench them in water and then I just slightly temper them to a straw-ish golden color. Okay, my friends, thank you very much for watching this video. That's how it looks like in the end. I'm quite happy with the, with the opposing hand that turned out really nice. And uh, yeah, I overall, overall, I'm really pleased with it. Um, I've learned a lot, especially from the carving. I need to get some actual gouges or wood carving tools or something like that. And I would probably move on to actual hardwood in the future, even though it's very nice to work with lime wood and it's uh, very easy to work with but it's a bit too soft it doesn't take details very well but the other thing is is that i wanted to get this dark rich color and so i had to stain it i, I didn't really like the natural color of of the lime wood so i did yeah so i did went with the stain and uh, it was it doesn't take stain super well maybe i don't know how to stain it probably but uh, this was quite difficult and a little bit messy, especially also with the finish, since the wood really absorbs absolutely everything. As you can see, <laughs> this took me like three layers of hard lacquer and stain and everything and sanding. And this took me like just one session of sanding, just 
pretting it up and then a few layers of shellac and that's that and it looks super nice and pretty I think <laughs> so thank you again thank you again for watching this I really hope you liked it and I hope you can share it with other people as well and uh, yeah I'll see you again very soon and that's uh, that was also fun to make the chicken <laughs>